good morning from a uh, the weather forecast of course a, a blue sky a few wisps of cloud and lots of sunshine in here in Southampton how are you all I hope you've had a good week um yeah this is part one of my um, my uh, tobacco reviewing video because uh, as I said in earlier ones uh, it's all well good and well and good complaining about um, tobacco reviews and tobacco reviews dot com and things like that but um, you know you've got to do something positive which is to perhaps uh, as much for myself as for everybody else kind of think about uh, how to uh, you know kind of improve one's um, improve one's tobacco reviewing so I thought I, I'm going to do this as a series of videos I promise you that the uh, number of them will remain in single figures and it will not get um, overly long because I think, you know, if you can't say things simply, then uh, what you're saying really um, isn't much use to man or beast. So there we go. Not the beast smoke pipes, of course, but there we go. Well, they might be. Um, so the basics, uh, uh, the starting point for me is, um, you know, uh, one of the reviews I read, um, a guy who had six pipes, or less I think, who predominantly smoked aromatics, and then reviewed a favourite tobacco of mine, St Bruno, and um, was rather disparaging about it. Uh, so what you need is a smoking instrument which um, gives you the best possible cleanest smoke and f as a suggestion to that I've got a number of uh, ideas um, firstly is these clay pipes now I've got several of these the professor my dear friend the professor for my birthday a little while ago it may have been my birthday or was it just a gift off the bat I think it was just a gift off the bat gave me half a dozen or so of these uh, clay pipes um, and um, they are excellent the thing to do with clay pipes though and I think it's the same for all uh, this uh, all of all, all pipes is clay pipes you don't really want to build a cake up in them and um, lots of uh, uh, Ben billiard Alex did a little video saying can you get a ghost in a clay pipe? Well, yeah, and he smoked a clay pipe with one particular tobacco in it and indeed did get a ghost. Uh, 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 that meaning uh, you can taste in the tobacco you're smoking a tobacco that's been smoked in the pipe before. So the idea is really, once you finish smoking your clay, is to obviously knock out the dottle and the ashes. And then what I do is I take a pipe cleaner, these ones are the uh, ones with the little uh, uh, brushes, black um, plastic uh, brush filaments in. I fold it over, give it a little bit of the, the old brandy. Now, that's brandy, which is what I've been using, but in future I'm going to use vodka um, because it's, uh, here comes Nico. It's a spirit without, uh, you know, no real flavour to it. It's just pure spirit. So, um, hello, mate. Uh, so what you get is uh, the cleaning uh, medium isn't going to leave a ghost either. So I'll be changing that. So I suggest using vodka if you can get it. I believe in America you can buy a, a sort of rubbing alcohol, which is, again... A very high quantity of alcohol in it, but that of course will evaporate off. Uh, but is is um, clean. Uh, so there you've got a, a relatively cheap. I mean, I think well, I didn't pay for these, but I've looked online, um, and they're around the sort of five pound mark. Um, quite uh, quite reasonable. I hear though that in the UK that um, Wilsons of Sharrow, who currently make they're famous for their snuff, of course, but they also make um, clay pipes. I'm going to stop doing that. That was from Glenn uh, at um, Gauntley's in Nottingham. 
so it might be an idea to purchase a few quickly if you're in the UK. I do know there's a lady down in Devon, I can't remember her name off the top of my back head, but she makes clays, um, but they are rather bespoke and rather, ex well, not expensive, expensive, but not the cheap and cheerful sort of, this probably four or five quid. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, and what I'd also do is I'd allot uh, this clay, say, for Virginias and Virginia Periques, uh, one for English mixtures or mixtures with it, Latakia in, uh, one for aromatics, perhaps, and so on and so forth. And there you've got a, a device, reasonably cheap, so you don't have to smoke in your briars that you might not want to muck up, uh, that gives you a nice clean smoke. Another one, of course, is the calabash. Um, the beauty of these uh, babies is this is my 1902 one I bought. The stem's a little crooked, but I'll sort that out in a minute. I was polishing this at the crack of dawn so it was nice and shiny for you. The beauty of these is they have a meerschaum bowl in them, and they're obviously stuck into a gourd, is that they give you a very cool smoke. And uh, one of the important things about reviewing tobacco is that you want to have the coolest smoke possible because um, obviously if you sit there going the smoke gets very hot and to be honest with you all your taste uh, and this is from experience experience of being uh, somebody that did that a little too much I came off of cigarettes to the pipe uh, I'd smoked pipes for a very long time on and off and had pipes around but was predominantly a cigarette smoker when I finally decided to throw the cigarettes in I did have a naughty one when I'm having a pint, but um, you're looking for that sort of massive hit, quick hit of nicotine, so you sit there going puffing away, and what you taste is uh, sort of burning flesh as your tongue <laughs> is incinerated and ashes, really. So, a calabash, they're quite expensive, um, is uh, a great way of uh, t tasting tobacco because it gives you a very cool smoke and allows you to experience the, the flavours much, much better. Uh, again, cleaning regime, there's an Australian guy, if I can find the video, I will, he uh, did a video on gourds and um, a cleaning regime, which again involved a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of uh, a, a pipe cleaner, folded over, and you clean the bowl because you do not want to build up a cake in a meerschaum. It's, uh, you get too much cake in a meerschaum and the, the, the meerschaum itself just cracks. Uh, this is an example, I've had this a while, um, of a, another little meerschaum I've got, uh, which uh, I did, uh, out of an experience, allow cake to build up a bit, but I've uh, kind of halted it and uh, give it a good cleaning regime. Again, uh, should give you a very clean smoke again a little too expensive to have one for each but as I say if you clean them thoroughly afterwards particularly the bowls um, it'll give you a good clean smoke and you can smoke a variety of tobacco without having to worry about ghosts the other cheap alternative uh, well, alternative to the others I've shown you is of course your good old cob pipe uh, there's a Missouri Meerschaum um, you see, I've smoked aromatics in that, so I can still get a little bit of that in there. I don't smoke them that often, and so it's... Um, um, I'm not entirely sure Aristocob would be the man to ask uh, about a cleaning regime for uh, cobs, but th again, they sort of retail in the UK around the £5 mark. So you could buy four or five and allot them to a particular source of tobacco. Um... So there's the tools. Um, don't be put off if you if you haven't got uh, any of the pipes I've shown, uh, types of pipe I've shown. Then um, I would you know if you've allotted a briar for Latakias and Orientals and whatnot, and you've one for Virginias, and then you know I don't think there's any harm in um, you know smoking those. The important thing I think the key to most appreciate the smoke uh, is to ensure that you have a sip the bowl have a nice cool smoke and then you'll be able to taste it if you don't if it's very hot you're not going to taste a thing 
So anyway, I just picked this randomly. It's not really, but it, it's got a tin description. Moving on. So what you want here? We've got a tobacco East Terica Tobacchiana's Dunbar, made blended by JF German. Um, on the front of the tin, it says a marriage of seven premium Virginia tobaccos with Louisiana Preet. So there you go, so it's a, a Virginia Preet. Select your Virginia Preet pipe and have a little smoke. Um, I'll do a, a smoking review in the next video. Um, but that was just little basics uh, to get started. Um, and I hope that's helped in some way. We'll get down to the nitty gritty um, of how best to construct a review, what's the important elements of a review and um, uh, the things that we should avoid uh, at, at all, if at all possible when making a review next time. Um, I've had a reasonably good week um, just to catch up on what I've been up to. Um, loving uh, the Margot, which I'm smoking at the moment in um, my my um, firm down pipe, which I've smoked before. But I love the pipe. I love the shape. Um, I must just mention, and I very it's very early here. Um, uh, some of you, I subscribe to a number of German uh, pipe presenters, and uh, very sadly, um, I have to tell you that Harry Hailbutt, uh, Matthew Mateus, uh, uh, died um, a few weeks ago. Um, it was very remiss of me to, to, to I forgot to do, do it. Um, Edward told me. Um, his very good friend Ralph made a, a, a very nice video in in German. I don't, you know, my German's not that good. It's a bit sketchy, but um, but no, so that was very sad. So uh, my condolences to uh, his family and uh, to Ralph, who's a very good friend of his. Very sad news. He was a, a very enthusiastic uh, presenter, and um, he made his own pipes and things. He's a nice chap. Um, I won't bother people with the details of how things happen, but anyway, so there's something for you to think about or you know, pray about if you're of that persuasion. Um, yeah, bit of a sad note to end on, but uh, <coughs> anyway, hope you all have a great week. Um, I am girding my loins for the uh, pipe meet on the 14th. Um, I look forward to seeing people there. Anyway, have a great week. Keep smoking, keep snuffing, keep doing what you do. Cheers. Morning, Nico. Yeah, there he is, the old fella. Still, uh, I, don't, I won't use the words going strong because uh, he's not certainly not doing that. But he's all right. We... Uh, Needs a little bit of help up and down the stairs now, but um, we have a potter around for an hour or two every day, so it's relatively good news.